So do you remember last week we covered the Quran burning? Was it last week? Yeah, it was last week, wasn't it? So um, as you can see here, it's the Muslim news. <laughs> I've never come across this before. I found it today. Have you heard In of another this? another incident of Islamophobia. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. Yeah, there's so the, propaganda these are, sense. yeah. So anyway, um, the leader of the Danish far right, Stram Kurz party, has burnt another copy of the Quran, basically, on Thursday under police protection in Sweden. So Ramses has dual Danish and Swedish nationality, but he recently has recently burned copies of the Quran uh, in the Fro Frolunda Boras and Trollhattan. I'm definitely butchered those names, sorry. Um, regions of the southwestern province of Vastergotland, <laughs> which <laughs> Vastergotland, I like that name, which are inhabited by Muslims. Around 100 police officers, as well as 10 plainclothes officers from the Swedish intelligence agency, accompanied Paludan to protect him against counter demonstrators, or as they probably mm. want to say, unruly Muslims, right? Um, Paludan has burnt the holy book in, I guess this is his thing, has burnt the holy book in various cities in Denmark since 2017. He continued his provocations under police protection during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan this year near Muslim populated neighborhoods and mosques. Riots broke out after the burning of the Quran in April um, in the cities Malmo, Nor Koping, and John Koping, again, I've butchered these names, sorry, as well as in the capital, Stockholm, leaving 125 police vehicles damaged and 34 officers injured while 13 people were detained. Um, so, yeah, he's obviously, look, he's going into, like, Muslim-populated neighbourhoods that, 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 that there's no, you know, no, no one's arguing that fact. Like, he is doing it to like garner some kind of like there is the level of incitement there right he's trying to he's trying to rile them up he's trying to like he's trying to you're, you're muted Harris I'll, I'll just quickly say um yes he's he's doing that we know his intent but he's not doing anything wrong um I mean if it, you know like when kids tease each other the when they say oh he called me whatever he called me for, you know, and you know, realize um, that your mother tells you just respond with as corny as it is sticks and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me <laughs> my, no, well, my mother my... will not hurt me it's okay my no. sky daddy can deal with it he will deal even if even if you're muslim though by by that logic let allah do his thing to them on the day of judgment you know what i mean leave it to your god leave it to divine justice why are you intervening my mother was a bit different. My mother, my mother said that. Well, if a mommy, she's she's calling me that. Mum is like, say say that to him or her. Same to you. <laughs> Whoever says it <laughs> is actually him. So anyway, so Jokata <laughs> Wayuta. Anyway, so so, but this is how childish it is. Yeah. So this guy knows that. Ah, I won't tell you what I'm my dad call... said to do to them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's I'm... the difference. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna say whatever, and you you're gonna lose your humanity you're going to become an idiot you're going to become a wild animal so let's just go and do it okay that's pro provocation but we can't condemn that because if you can't behave like an adult like for example muhammad hijab that was a quirky comeback he said well the more you do it as many copies of the quran or as many events of quran burning you you have we're going to raise more funds and we're going to build a mosque because we know that's going to piss you off that okay that's clever okay all right i'm not in favor of but whatever, if you, this is a private enterprise, free world, you can do whatever you want. You want to build mosques, okay. I don't like it. I don't want to see him. But you're well within your rights. This is clever. But then these guys, they say, oh, you burnt the Quran. Okay, I'm going to burn 50 police cars. Like, what the hell? Like, and what these people don't understand, like, I, I heard about this part, like, it, this part, not in this news story, but it's been exaggerated before, where they're like, oh, look, they're, bur they're burning the Quran under police protection, kind of like how, but, but France was a bit different, France, actual French government made a conscientious decision, did I say that right? Conscientious, um, yeah. Yeah, conscientious decision to put up Charlie Hebdo Mohammed's photos on government buildings, okay, that's different, but here, they're equating the two, they're saying, hmm, the Danish police is actually facilitating them, but what they don't understand, that's not the Danish police probably doesn't want it. They don't want it. They don't, they don't want to have anything to do with this. But they're defending the principle. The principle is, sorry, you can't um, 
we can't allow you. We, we, uh, I mean, if he's doing this, we have to protect his life. We have to protect his life anyway. Let's just say if, if there was a strong um, f- em- emotion towards people who defecate publicly and people start getting butchered or murdered for defecating in public. Even then, it would it'd be like, it'd be crime, actually. No, that's probably not a good example because I think it'd be crime to defecate in public anyway. But let's just say something, whatever, like you just uh, find an example. Like you, you you do this, which is not against the law, but it's it's not liked in public and then you to go okay we don't want him to do it it's 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 looked down upon we don't like it we don't support it we don't favor it but if he does it and and someone's going to kill him for it we have to protect him that's exactly what they're doing the, the danish police is not actually facilitating that danish police is just protecting this guy who's doing this which is going to attract harm yeah the swedish police yeah i agree well, well, was it Swedish or Danish? Well, I think yeah, he's Danish a dual himself. national. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Because I was wondering why, 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 why does Sweden ban? Say, him? I was like, he Trump, was he was he knocking on Sweden? The the thing. Yeah, but yeah, he's a dual national exactly. If you like these videos and want to support me in my activism, then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone.